Hello friends, in this video we are going to discover the top 14 most underrated travel destinations in the US. If it feels like everyone's traveling right now, that's because they are. A recent survey by TripIt found that a whopping 85% of respondents plan to travel this year, mostly within the United States, which means the big destinations are going to be packed. Sure, the hotspots are hot for a reason, but who wants to deal with crowds and jacked up prices? That's where this list of the best underrated travel destinations comes in. In fact, airlines like Frontier offer unlimited flight passes to make it easier than ever to travel to underrated destinations. These US cities have loads of charm and interest but a lot less hassle, and that will come in particularly handy if you can only escape for a mini vacation or weekend away. Plus, there's something to be said for discovering a cool new place and stepping out of your comfort zone. Kindly make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon before we start this video about the 14 most underrated travel destinations in the US. Now let's dig deeper into each of the top 14 most underrated travel destinations in the US. Number 14. Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Jackson Hole makes our list of the most underrated travel destinations for being the gateway to Grand Teton National Park. Often overlooked by visitors in favor of neighboring Yellowstone and Glacier National Parks, it's a special destination in its own right. You can take a self-guided drive to spot wildlife, including elk, bison, bear and even massive moose, but remember to stay in your vehicle and take photos from there. And Jackson Hole is a charmer of a town that you'll love returning to at the end of the day. It has a lovely town square with plenty of Old West charm, like an arch of antlers framing the entrance to the area and stagecoach rides. Don't miss, over the years, artists have been inspired by the natural surroundings and wildlife in the Jackson Hole area, and you can explore their work, and maybe get some inspiration of your own, at the National Museum of Wildlife Art. Number 13. Reno, Nevada. Reno is a prime example of a second city's rise to fame, and it may be in the proverbial shadow of Vegas, but we think it's one of the best travel destinations in the US. You'll find plenty of gambling and entertainment here, but unlike Las Vegas, you won't be bombarded by crowds. Plus, if you can pull yourself away from the blackjack table, you can enjoy the great outdoors at stunning Lake Tahoe, which is less than an hour's drive away. Don't miss, set aside some time to walk around the Riverwalk District, where you can grab a bite on one of the many patios overlooking the water. Or follow the locals to the Wingfield Park Amphitheater for free outdoor entertainment and great people watching. Number 12. Greenville, South Carolina. The city once known quite fittingly as Pleasantburg is an ideal spot for anyone looking for a southern-style spring break destination without the crowds or high prices. As in the bustling cities Asheville or Charleston, though, you'll find plenty here to keep you busy, including art and history museums, a zoo and a minor league baseball stadium. There's also a 32-acre park and natural waterfalls, a concert arena and access to a 20-mile-long bike trail. Don't miss, Main Street is the central hub of activity in Greenville, with more than 120 locally owned boutiques and restaurants. Head to Pomegranate on Main to sample authentic Persian cuisine, or to Hall's Chop House for farm to fork southern dishes and incredible water views of the Reedy River. Number 11. Harper's Ferry, West Virginia. The Appalachian Trail goes right through this tiny town in West Virginia, named the third most popular underrated U.S. vacation destination travelers want to visit in the Talker Pole. While best known as the site of the John Brown Raid and three Civil War battles, Harper's Ferry is also a stunning destination in the fall. Bordered by the Potomac and Shenandoah Rivers, it's the perfect place to peep the gorgeously colored fall foliage blazing along the river trails in the fall. And any time of year, you can walk in the footsteps of history at Harper's Ferry National Historical Park. Overall, it's a great alternative to Baltimore and Washington, D.C., which are located about 90 minutes north. Don't miss, lace up your hiking boots for scenic views on free and fabulous hikes. The Loudoun Heights Trail provides views of the Shenandoah Valley, especially beautiful in autumn, and the Maryland Heights Trail is an easy-ish five-mile loop with vistas of Harper's Ferry. Number 10. Cleveland, Ohio. New York City threw major shade at Cleveland last year with a mean viral tweet that read, a gloomy day in New York City is still better than a sunny day in Cleveland. People quickly came to the defense of this under-the-radar city, pointing out the multiple ways Cleveland is, well, cool. Sure, there's no place like the Big Apple, 
but you'll be surprised by just how much there is to do here, which is exactly why it landed on our list of the best underrated travel destinations in the country. Just like New York, there's a natural history and modern art museum, a museum of contemporary art, a zoo, destination dining spots like Little Italy and even a world-class orchestra. But unlike New York, you won't get turned away because of overcrowding or turned off due to exorbitant pricing. For example, the Cleveland Contemporary Art Museum is free, while the Whitney Museum in Manhattan costs $25 per person. Don't miss, oh, and did we forget to mention the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? This is the place to be if you're a music lover. Explore six floors of music history, including neat interactive exhibits, in a place unlike any in New York. Number 9. Estes Park, Colorado. Have your heart set on Vail or Aspen? You'll get plenty of adventure and mountain town vibes at Estes Park, Colorado without fighting the crowds or burning a hole in your wallet. The base camp to Rocky Mountain National Park, RMNP, this laid-back town is surrounded by majestic mountains and abundant wildlife, and it's the perfect jumping-off spot for exploring the national park. In fall, see the golden aspens, in winter, go cross-country skiing, and in spring, try fly fishing, mountain biking, and hiking. Don't miss, take a tour with Wildside 4x4, which offers on-road and off-road options and great wildlife photo opportunities in RMNP. It's a unique way to see the park in any season, yes, even in the winter with snow, and there are opportunities to get out of your vehicle to see waterfalls and wilderness up close. Number 8. Lexington, Kentucky. Skip the busy city of Atlanta and try this underrated travel destination instead. The Southern Gem offers the kind of cool public art, unique shopping, and elevated dining you'd expect in a city. In fact, it boasts 120 locally owned restaurants, including seven helmed by Chef Wida Michelle, who's been nominated for numerous James Beard Awards. But Lexington has even more going for it with some unique features, namely, its easy access to the great outdoors and more than 400 horse farms. Don't miss, soar 185 feet above the ground on a zipline canopy tour with Boone Creek Outdoors, and you'll be treated to tremendous views of the Boone Creek Gorge and the surrounding forest or bike along the majestic limestone cliffs cut by the Kentucky River on the Kentucky River Palisades Trail. Number 7. Duluth, Minnesota. With an architecturally stunning downtown, trendy lakeside neighborhoods and outdoor adventures around every corner, Duluth is a great alternative to busier Midwestern towns such Minneapolis and Chicago, or even Denver in the West. Outside Magazine and The Washington Post named it one of the country's best cities for outdoor adventures, and mountain biking, in particular, is a big draw here. But from museums to boat tours to ball games, there's no shortage of attractions to explore in this underrated U.S. travel destination. Don't miss, is there a train lover in your travel group? Take a ride on the North Shore Scenic Railroad for fabulous views of Lake Superior, the downtown skyline and the Northwoods. Follow up with a visit to the iconic Lake Superior Railroad Museum. Number 6. Grand Rapids, Michigan. Instead of heading to blustery, overly busy Chicago, consider this Midwestern gem. Start the day by renting a canoe, kayak, or paddleboard to explore the Grand River, which weaves through the charming city, to soak up the last few days of warm weather. Once the weather shifts, you can still visit the beautiful Frederick Meyer Gardens, a botanical garden and sculpture complex, and walk down Wealthy Street for one-of-a-kind boutiques, bakeries, and restaurants. A stroll through the Heritage Hill neighborhood is also a must to marvel at some gorgeous architecture. Don't miss, known as Beer City, USA, Grand Rapids is home to more than 40 breweries along the Beer City Ale Trail, all within a 30-minute drive of one another. Please remember to have a designated driver. Sample beer from Founders, City Built Brewing Company and Harmony Hall, among others. Number 5. Fort Worth, Texas. The 13th largest city in the country and the third fastest growing, Fort Worth is emerging from the shadow of neighboring Dallas and gaining national attention for its modern interpretation of Western culture. Known endearingly as Cowtown, Fort Worth feels much more like you're in the great American West of lore than the more urban-feeling Dallas, and it's definitely one of the more unique vacations in the U.S. It even has a ride-in movie theater, where you can bring your horse instead of your car. That said, your car will come in handy if you want to make Fort Worth a stop on a larger Texas road trip. Don't miss, the Stockyards National Historic District, which pays homage to the city's cowboy past. 
Visitors can watch cowboys lead a herd of Texas Longhorns down the main street twice a day, as well as explore the ample Western-inspired attractions. Make sure to check out our rodeo at Cowtown Coliseum and have a drink at Billy Bob's Texas, the world's largest honky-tonk. Number 4. Carlsbad, California. A seaside community located 30 miles north of downtown San Diego and an hour south of Anaheim, Carlsbad is an under-the-radar city that's a good alternative for a SoCal city getaway. It's also a terrific option for families reluctant to deal with the crowded theme parks in Anaheim, since it's the home of Legoland California. Considering a road trip with a beachy destination? Carlsbad's also got you covered there, with seven miles of uncrowded beaches along the Pacific coast. Don't miss, the SoCal weather is great year-round, including in the fall, but plan a return trip in May so you can see the flower fields at Carlsbad Ranch, nearly 50 stunning acres of giant ranunculus, which bloom for only six to eight weeks each spring. In May, you'll also get to check out the Carlsbad Village Street Fair, the largest one-day street fair in the country. Number 3. Boise, Idaho. Named one of food and wine's best up-and-coming cities for food lovers, the City of Trees is also a perfect destination when you're looking for a quick getaway where you can enjoy the great outdoors. Hikers and bikers have almost 200 miles of trails to explore in the foothills just above Boise, and they're anchored by trailheads right in town. You can also check out any of the 104 parks in the city, or hop on a bike to visit beer, wine and cider tasting rooms located near Boise's Greenbelt, a 25-mile trail along the Boise River that goes right through the city. Don't miss, there's no need to travel overseas to get a taste of Basque culture Boise has the largest Basque population in the United States. Downtown, you'll find an entire city block dedicated to the Spanish culture, with plenty of romantic restaurants where you can sample tapas and regional Basque wines. Number 2. Savannah, Georgia. Voted in the Talker Media Travel Poll as the top underrated travel destination in the United States that people want to visit, this southern gem is one of the most charming small towns we've ever seen. It's also a great off-season travel destination, especially in the fall, when you can beat the heat and the crowds, and you'll have the cobblestone streets and culinary delights almost all to yourself. Chock full of history, Savannah has a romantic, hauntingly beautiful vibe fitting, since some people say it's America's most haunted city, but it also has plenty of shops, music and rooftop bars to keep you entertained. Don't miss, make time to visit City Market, an open-air marketplace filled with restaurants and boutique art galleries. Also take a leisurely stroll through Forsyth Park, 30 acres of greenery in the heart of Savannah's historic district. Number 1. Asbury Park, New Jersey. If you love the idea of the Hamptons or Nantucket but you're looking for something a little more low-key, head south to Asbury Park in New Jersey. You'll find a funky boardwalk dotted with independent restaurants and shops, wide sandy beaches and a cool music scene, making this East Coast beach destination a magnet for trendsetters and locals alike. Even better? It's an affordable and quick trip for anyone in the tri-state area, and there's plenty to do here even when it's not summer, since there's a year-round music, bar, and dining scene. Don't miss, the Stone Pony, beloved for decades as the spot where Bruce Springsteen got his start, is a must-visit for music lovers. In the summer, the venue also puts on huge outdoor concerts, hosting well-known bands like the Black Crows as well as cool up-and-comers. So, which is your favorite places among the top 14 most underrated travel destinations in the US? Well, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content of this video, click the subscribe button so you can receive more content like this. Post your favorite places among the top 14 most underrated travel destinations in the US in the comments below. I'd love to read them and I'm sure others would too.